After World War II, they were fast on their feet with new design. And what was unique about Studebaker was they hired outside designers. They had their own, and, and they hired outside people. Raymond Lowy is famous for being involved. And they came up with unique designs. And so they, they didn't seem to have a thread of of a queue that followed through the whole, you know, design queues that followed through like Chevy and and Pontiac and Buick and Ford even had sort of a look to them. They would go all over the map with their looks. And the 1950 Starlight Coupe was probably the uh, most iconic. That's the bullet nose one. The next one that was iconic and one of the best design cars ever in history is the 53 Coupe. Uh, it's called Starliner Commander or the Raymond Lowy Coupe or Lowy Coupe. That car is, is awesome. Uh, it, when you look at that car in, in reference to all that was around in 1953 and really two years prior when it was probably designed, it's astounding. It's really low and sleek and devoid of, of all kinds of detail and crap that, that would go on a lot of the cars in those, that era. It didn't have big bulky fenders. It didn't have big rounded form everywhere. It was very sleek and sharp. However, I don't think they sold very well. By that time, Studebaker was running into trouble financially. Anyway, the third iconic Studebaker was the, the Hawk, the Golden Hawk, a 56. That by that time, Studebaker had merged with Packard, and they put a Packard V8 in the front of this car, which wasn't very big. The car was fairly small car, medium size by today's standards. The V8 was almost a 7-liter V8, and it weighed tons, and um, it was an unmanageable, hard-to-drive, understeering car. No, it was kept wanting to go straight. You turn the wheel, it would keep going straight. But awesome, awesome power. Yeah, this big, giant Packard V8. But it looked cool. So I picked those three, and, and that's what I used. Studebaker was, if nothing else, offbeat. Probably didn't help them in the marketplace, but from a design standpoint, they were unique. 